Friends of Cancer Research is a very special organization. Friends of Cancer Research has been a very powerful influence on advances in how we can ultimately figure out how to prevent and cure cancers. Friends of Cancer Research is science-driven and patient-focused. Friends of Cancer Research has been a fabulous partner for FDA, for NIH, and for the biomedical research community. We depend upon the kinds of input that Friends of Cancer Research can provide, about creative ideas that we can then push forward. So it makes a, a wonderful kind of community now of government, advocates, patients, all really working together at this exciting moment in cancer research, which has such promise, but we don't want to wait for that. We want it now. The way in which this organization has found a niche that really was needed between NIH and FDA uh, as a source of advocacy, as a source of new ideas about clinical trials, has been a very important addition to the landscape. Friends of Cancer Research has been around for almost 20 years. Our goal is to help patients. We care about science, we care about patients, and we care about getting them the best treatment possible. We have to collaborate. There is no sector that has all the answers. The only way we're gonna help patients is if we all work together, and that means the NIH, the FDA, drug companies, scientists, and patients. Patients at the front of the equation. It's about the patient. Breakthrough is an example of where all sectors work together towards a common goal, and that was really to get patients' treatments earlier, better, and those that would work for them. We've done that with the lung MAP trial, the collaboration between all sectors to help patients with lung cancer. The role of Friends of Cancer Research was absolutely central to making this real and bringing all of the stakeholders around the table to, to shape this new approach. A lung map is an example. The idea of using adaptive clinical trials where you can make the most of every possible participant's interest in being involved in research and give them the best chance uh, to get a positive response is another example. It's so exciting and so important. It's gonna save lives, it's going to save time and money as well, and it's a model that can be extended to other diseases as well. It is interesting how cancer research advocacy seems to be driven uh, by a series of powerful women. Ellen Siegel, perhaps uh, most prominent amongst them in the minds of many of us who have the chance to work with her. Women make things happen. They're passionate, they're focused and they know how to get things done. Marge Foti fits into this same model in a very powerful way. As the CEO of AACR now for many years, uh, she has been leading an effort uh, to try to promote cancer research, uh, building the size of that organization by, I think, about tenfold in the course of the time that she's been there, working with organizations like Stand Up to Cancer to uh, enhance cancer research even beyond uh, what NIH can do. Marge is extraordinary. She has very clear goals, they're actionable, and there's nothing that she won't do to help the patient. Dr. Fodi's work as CEO of the American Association for Cancer Research has really been unparalleled in the community. This year, Friends of Cancer Research and I are truly honored to name Marge Fodi the second recipient of the Ellen V. Siegel Advocacy Award. Dr. Fodi has built a meaningful legacy of helping to advance the careers of young women and minority scientists throughout her mentorship and support. So it is indeed fitting uh, that Marge has been chosen as this year's Ellen Siegel Award winner, and I want to extend my hearty congratulations to Marge. Congratulations, Marge. This award is so appropriate, so well earned, and uh, I know that it's very meaningful to you and to all of us that have watched your fabulous career and all your many contributions over the years. Hey, Marge, congratulations. You've earned this award. Uh, we're all cheering. Congratulations, Marge. I love you, and I am so extremely proud of you and so proud of you receiving this very special honor. You are a remarkable person.